good morning dear students today in class plus 1 book hornbill we will study chapter number 3 the name of the chapter is discovering tut tut the saga continues the chapter name is the saga continues <clears throat> written by a r williams okay so first of all uh, we discuss about the outline of chapter what the chapter is all about here if i talk about character we have only one character tut okay his complete name was uh tutankhamun his complete name was tutankhamun his complete name was tutankhamun 1343 bc okay so we know it very well that egypt country most commonly famous for pyramids and mummy dear children before we come to the content of the chapter let's know something how do these people make mummy or i should say how did they make mummy so like this is coffin in this particular shape okay and this person they have division like here this is complete case called coffin here they used to keep dead body person number 1 person number 2 person number 3 in person they used to put some jewelries jewelries okay in this one flower leaves under garments wine razor etc so here they used to put jewelry like crown okay rings all these things this portion used to occupied by dead body but this portion was fully with jewelry like crown rings and all amulets bracelets okay amulets and bracelets what was the reason these people they used to keep all these things there is one thing that we will got to know resurrection means these people they believed in rebirth okay that's why they used to keep all these things to make the dead body to to make the departed soul comfortable and they believe that this soul will return in the same royal family so this was the resurrection so this was the thing now come to the chapter in this one we have tutankhamun a young pharaoh a boyish pharaoh i should say boyish pharaoh okay boyish means young pharaoh means a uh, egypt king simply i should say egypt king so he died okay he died at the age of teenage okay he was a teenager fine and basically this chapter provides us a deep insight into man's desire to know an analysis about the roots of our civilization
actually it is a based on she will to know something about our civilization okay and this particular chapter transport us to egypt obviously egypt okay and uh, <clears throat> uh, the mummies which lie buried in those wonders of the world had starting facts to reveal about human life thousands of years ago like this mummy was buried about 3300 years ago okay the discovering discovering of, uh, of this uh, tuts mummy uh, tutankhamun mummy in 1922 in 1922 inspired by many archaeological uh, scientists or researchers to know what had happened to him and this particular chapter is written on two questions how did he die first okay and why did he die two questions are important to know the reasons for answers of these questions to to archaeologist logists like mr carter and mr jahi hawas were deputed to know these two questions okay from archaeological survey of india fine so this is the thing that we got to know and here again in this chapter we have something uh about dates of 5th january 2005 when the world's most famous mummy most famous mummy of whom tuts mummy was taken out for ct scan this was the first king whose mummy was gonna to be scanned first time in the world after how many years after 3000 300 years ago okay after these this year so you can see this one and apart from that we have description about this resurrection as i told you the people used to keep all these things with the dead body of the king and second thing was that in that uh, you can say uh, symmetry the thing was div divided for king one was valley of the king valley of kings and second one valley of queens it means this portion was only for the dead bodies of the male members so first question before jahi hawas and mr carter was that to find out the mummy of tutankhamun okay tutankhamun so out of uh, a lot many mummies they need to search out the real mummy of tut or tutankhamun now uh, we have a short background about uh, you can say tuts family okay in tuts family what do we know that uh, first one was amenhotep third who was maybe father or grand father of tut even the writer is not sure okay i mean hot a third might be the father or grandfather of tut okay and after his death the next one was i mean hot a fourth okay and uh, he was one of the 
strongest you can say at the at his time strongest king of his time okay after that we have description in the book that this king promoted the worship of atain worship of atain and atain means what atain means what sun disk sun disk refer to sun okay so he was a you can say a worshiper of sun or simply the meaning of this one become servant of atain servant of atain atain means sun so he promoted the uh, you can say worshiping of sun and moved the religious capital from old city to thebes so the next thing is he changed his he changed his capital from old city whatever the old city was to thebes t h e b e s so what changes he did he changed his capital from old city to thebes to the new city of akhnate okay and this was later known as amarna a m a r n a amarna this was the city that later became famous for its capital and then next thing what he did he attacked uh amun a major god of that time he became was servant of atain okay akhnaten okay his name was a k h e n a t e n mean it means servant of atain and then he attacked on the images of amun a god okay and collapse all the buildings smash all his images and then one of the university scholar ray johnson ray johnson call him wacky w a c k y means mad means if a king tries to smash out the images of any god or the religious places of any god like akhnaten did he smashed out all the images of god amun and then ray johnson called him wacky so he knows very well the result of smashing out the images of amun god will not be in his favor okay and as akhnaten died after his death another king came his name was tutan khaten after akhnaten his heir was tutan khaten and right now or nowadays he is widely known today the boy soon changed his name to tutankhamun this tutankhaten became tutan khamun okay and it means what living image of amun living image of amun see dear children akhnaten destroyed the pictures of amun but after his death his next king was tutankhaten he changed his name from aten aten means sun disk he changed his name tutankhaten to tutan amun and amun was a god at that time and that means living image of amun living image of amun and he reigned for every 9 years and then he ruled the country for 9 years and suddenly he died 
unexpectedly okay unexpectedly so in this chapter we have a research on Tutankhamun who was the last male member of this particular dynasty okay so just move on <coughs> in uh, late 2003 late 2003 CT scan machine first time CT scan machine was donated by uh, Siemens okay Siemens company you might have heard to National Geographical Society National Geographical Society NGS okay uh, to know each and every kind of detail about his death fine so when the uh, this particular mummy was found okay it was eight feet down in the ground and it was evening time so mr carter and jahi hawas had a problem so should we take it out right now because it was evening time and if they keep it open in the open field then obviously all the things will be stolen like gold and all so next by the night they kept security over there and next morning when they wanted to open the lead okay it was jammed then carter had a solution he told to the people that keep this particular coffin in open sunlight and you know dear children today we have fevicol and other liquid by we can we, we paste something but just think about all these people uh, 3300 years ago what kind of chemical they have used that till today no in uh, insect has entered into that coffin okay this is what's uh, what we got to learn in this uh, chapter also and where as they put this particular coffin in the sunlight the liquid starting melting and the lid became loose and they took that mummy into pieces on the stretcher and it was taken to lab okay and over there when they examined the body or sorry skeleton 1700 x-ray images x-ray images came on the screen Tut's head scanned the scanning parameter was 0 0.62 the minimum one the lesser one so that each and every kind of detail can be observed purposefully and it was to know airy detail okay and after a long time the forensic uh, radiologist uh, and uh, all the anatomy people they begin to think uh, begin to know the secrets of the skeleton okay but lastly they could not get anything and we got to know that there is a curse of Ferraho we will get to know about this particular word in the chapter how the writer has used this one then uh, after this particular point we got to know that nothing was the result of this particular scan and Jahi Hawas uh, smiled uh, very in very relaxation mode and he said I didn't sleep last night not for a second because throughout the night they kept on doing their duties to scan the skeleton and to know the region and after that they put that particular 
skeleton of Tutankhamun in its respective place and as they observe in the sea okay as they observe in the sea the constellation okay or you can say Orion the star starting twinkling in the sky and it was supposed that that the soul of Tutankhamun has gone back to its respective place so dear children uh, as the title itself says this no, uh, the saga continues in this chapter we did not get any particular clue about his death okay and no data has been found about his uh, death and region even though though both the writers they tried le their level best to get the reason and what could be the you know uh, message of this chapter it is that that we should be a keen observer to know something about our past civilization rules or the world okay so in this one that's all uh, I just repeat one thing in the beginning we got to know about Tutankhamun who was he thereafter some kind of uh, common belief of that time like uh, resurrection and all keeping something with the dead body okay and uh, we have a discussion about what kind of things we got to know about his life his biography okay his family background you can say and thereafter what was the result and what was the process of scanning the first mummy of the world that's all in next next video we will read the chapter thank you have a good day